Was there an ancient civilization in Antarctica? Was the icy continent inhabited by another species long before our time? That's what we'll be looking at in this video, so be sure to stay tuned until the end to unravel the mysteries of Antarctica with me. Welcome, friends. The icy continent has long captured the imagination of mankind. Let's try to get 500 likes on this video so that the algorithm can show it to even more people who can then also immerse themselves in the fascinating world of Antarctica. Humans have colonized almost the entire world in the past, from Africa to Europe, Asia, across frozen straits to North America, and then South America, and finally across the dangerous and rough seas via Southeast Asia, even to Oceania. But one place is missing, Antarctica. It is generally assumed that no historical human settlements were established here. Yet the Antarctic shore is not that far from the southern tip of Tierra del Fuego. You would have to travel 966 kilometers via the Drake Passage to get from Tierra del Fuego to Antarctica. For comparison, to reach New Zealand, the Maori probably had to cover thousands of kilometers in their canoes called Waka. They then reached the new shores of New Zealand from a place that is still unknown today, somewhere in Polynesia. Such a journey, even with primitive means from today's perspective, is therefore possible. And the question arises as to why this should not have happened in Antarctica. The question of the colonization of Antarctica is apparently asked by many, as YouTube is full of rather dubious videos on the subject of civilizations in Antarctica. These theories can be roughly divided into two groups. Firstly, did humans colonize Antarctica in the past? Second, has another non-human civilization left its mark on Antarctica? Let's start with the first claim, were there human settlements in Antarctica? The Piri race map is often cited as one of the main arguments. This map was drawn up in 1513 by the Ottoman cartographer and admiral Piri Race. 21 years earlier, America had been discovered by Christopher Columbus. This map is known for its amazing accuracy in depicting the coastlines of South America and Africa. At that time, many world maps looked as if they had been drawn by children and did not accurately depict the exact appearance of the coastlines or the distance between the continents. The Piri Race map is above average in this respect. But perhaps the most fascinating aspect of this map is the depiction of a mysterious land south of South America, presumably near the South Pole, whose position is suspiciously reminiscent of Antarctica. In terms of position, it could be the area of Antarctica known today as Queen Maud Land, which is claimed by Norway. Some of you might say that now. Yes, but Antarctica is also south of South America, so what's the problem? Today it is assumed that Antarctica was only discovered in 1820. That's right, we've only known about Antarctica for almost 200 years years. And here's a really crazy fun fact. Uranus, the planet, was discovered before Antarctica. Uranus in 1781, Antarctica in 1820. If you're making small talk at the next party, I suggest you throw this fact out there. But if that's the case, what's the Piri Rice map all about? People like Eric von Däniken, for example, not only claim that Piri Rice not only depicted Antarctica on his map, but that he depicted the exact coastline of ice-free Antarctica, which could only mean that he got this information from an ancient civilization that had lived in Antarctica for so long that it was still ice-free. So perhaps people discovered Antarctica earlier after all, and then perhaps settled there. And did this ancient knowledge somehow reach the ears of 16th century sailors? Even if it would be super fascinating, it probably wasn't. The claim that the Piri race map shows the exact coastline of an ice-free Antarctica can easily be refuted because the original shape of the Antarctic continent is not revealed simply by imagining the ice away. Due to geological processes, the coastline of Antarctica looked very different in the past than one would assume today, or than the map could even theoretically suggest. Archaeologist Nick Thorpe from King Alfred's College in Winchester says, The millions of tons of ice compressed the Earth's crust considerably. The coastline looked very different before than it does now under the ice. The coastal Antarctic islands, which are equated with those on Piri Rice's map, should therefore have disappeared. If you look at the map impartially, then the mysterious islands correspond exactly to the Falklands. So the islands on the Piri race map probably do not show islands directly off the coast of Antarctica, but perhaps the Falkland Islands, which were actually discovered much, much, much earlier than Antarctica. And what about the large section of land depicted on the map south of South America? Today, most scientists assume that this appendix is, let's say, a fantasy, or the fictitious southern continent Terra Australis Incognita, which medieval cartographers included in their world maps because they suspected something was still there 
there for reasons of balance, rightly so, as we know today. However, there is nothing to suggest that Antarctica was actually depicted here. There are also no finds of human settlements in Antarctica from the past. Nowadays, however, this has changed. In addition to many research stations, there are two civilian human settlements in Antarctica. The Chilean village of Villa Las Estrellas with 80 inhabitants and the Argentinian Esperanza station with 66 people. Let me know in the comments whether you would like to live there in the solitude of Antarctica or whether he says no, that would be a bit too cold for me. Okay, so human civilizations probably didn't exist in Antarctica, but what about non-human civilizations? Among pre-astronauts, it is absolutely recognized that the icy continent was the place to be for extraterrestrials or even advanced civilizations. The entrance to hollow Earth is suspected here, or buried UFOs of visitors from the depths of the cosmos. I think we've been familiar with this scenario at least since the fantastic movie The Thing from Another World. Of course, these claims are pretty far-fetched, but you can also take a more scientific approach to the whole thing with the so-called Silurian Hypothesis, which poses the question of whether there were other civilizations on Earth before the emergence of humanity. In principle, this is not an absurd question, as modern humans have only existed for just under 300,000 years. However, the Earth is probably 4 to 5 billion years old, so there would have been enough time. And ironically, the conditions in Antarctica in particular were pretty good in the past. 90 million years ago, for example, Antarctica was still covered in dense vegetation and temperatures were similar to those in Italy today, but without pizza and vino, unfortunately, still very bearable. Marine geologist Johann Klages says, That was an exciting time for Antarctica. It was basically the last time the entire continent was covered in vegetation and probably wildlife, dinosaurs and all that. We know this for a fact because traces of conifers and tree ferns have been found up to 30 meters below the Antarctic seabed. The Cretaceous period was a very warm period in the Earth's history, and the high concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere made Antarctica cozy and warm. Warm enough for a non-human intelligent species, then we should probably find some remains of it, right? Again, we keep hearing about alleged pyramids in the eternal ice. Like here, for example, a curious geological formation that can be seen on Google Maps. Is this a structure of a pre-human civilization? An alien pyramid in the ice? No. Professor of Earth System Science Eric Rigsnio from the University of California says, This is just a mountain that looks like a pyramid. Pyramid shapes are not impossible. Many peaks look partly like pyramids, but they only have one or two such faces, rarely four. And we can also look under the ice for such potential remains. This map here was created from a combination of radar and satellite data. Red are peaks and green is land that lies just above the current average sea level. Radio echo sounding technology allows us to look beneath the Antarctic ice by sending electromagnetic waves into the ice and then recording the reflected signals. These signals then provide information about subsurface layers, the topography of the subsurface and other features such as liquid water or specific rock layers. By using radar systems integrated into airplanes, researchers can therefore create detailed maps of Antarctic subsurface structures. If there were remains of past civilizations down there, then there is much to suggest that we would have already detected them with our technology. So all in all, we can say that there were neither past human settlers nor extraterrestrial visitors in Antarctica. And the next time another YouTube video pops up in your feed, you can think straight away that it's probably nonsense. But other opinions are, as always, acceptable. So feel free to write your opinion in the comments. Was there any kind of civilization or settlement in Antarctica before mankind? I can't wait to hear what you think. I will keep you up to date on all new discoveries in Antarctica, but of course, you can only do that if you follow my channel. Subscribing is absolutely free, you'll never miss another galactic video and will help me immensely. So everyone subscribe diligently and don't forget to leave a like, thank you so much. Speaking of alien visitors, there's been a breakthrough in warp drive research. Scientists have accidentally created a warp bubble in the lab, however that can happen by mistake. So will we soon be jetting through the cosmos with the Enterprise? You can find out in the video below, be sure to watch it. And if you want to support my work, visit my Astro store and get yourself some real meteorites, the real extraterrestrial visitors. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, friends.